guys, my name is Marina and I will be doing the Phantom of the Opera look. So to start this look off, I'm actually using the Phantom of the Opera mask. And I'm just gonna use it to stencil out my outline of where I wanna do the prosthetics. So. Now that I actually know the placement of where I should do my prosthetics, now I can get started. So I'm gonna be using some synthetic molding wax, some latex, some tissue paper, some colors to get that bloody gory look, and of course, some blood. So I'm just going in with my latex right now, all over, you want to get that nice, disgusting, gory look. So this is how the finishing product looks, it looks kind of gross, I know, but literally just latex, a little bit of some spirit gum and tissue you just want to continue to like play with it so just you can get some texture going on there so it can look more real and effective now i'm just going in with my mac mc45 foundation right over now i'm gonna use some of the flamboyant eyeshadow palettes the ones on the bottom just to give it that dark red bloody look like if i just finished getting burnt now I'm gonna go with this side now we're gonna start off and I'm gonna go in with the MAC spiked eyebrow pencil Now I'm going to go on with the MAC Studio Fix and Conceal palette. I'm going to go with this shade right here. And what I'm going to do is just outline the brow. I'm in my feelings. And there. Now we're going to do eyes. I admit it. Yeah. I'm in my feelings. Yeah. It's just me, my feels. Yes. Next, I'm gonna go in with this fiery, beautiful, burnt orange look. And I'm just gonna go right in the crease. Oh, that's pigmented. I love it. Now I'm gonna go with the deep brown right here. Can't even say I love. Stuck in the field. Next, I'm gonna take this color. I'm just gonna add a little bit of setting spray just to wet it a little bit. So what you wanna do here is just wet the brush. Okay, you wet the brush now. Now I'm gonna go in with the Black Track Pro Longwear Liner. I'm using an angled brush. So now I'm done with my liner. All I did was literally take it right across and top on top of the lash line for something really subtle, not too much. Just I'm gonna make the eye pop. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the CB9 lashes. I'm actually gonna use two of the um, lashes on my um, left eye. Um, I'm actually gonna stack them. I want something more dramatic on this end. Like this is not dramatic enough for you. <laughs> But yeah, I'm definitely going to stack them up on this side. So I just ended up just stacking them from one packet. And I want you guys to see how beautiful it looks. Compared to just single. So now, I'm going to go in. Now I'm going to go in with the lighter shade right here. So now it's finally blended. Oh, I'm like obsessed with it. It looks so good. I think I want to go a little bit brighter. Which I think. I think. It, yeah. I'm now I'm just gonna grab some translucent powder, dust it off. 
Now I'm gonna go with the extended play from MAC. And if you see, look at the brush. Let me just show you guys. So it's a little bit much more smaller. It, the coils are much smaller just to get into end, every individual lash. And I like when I blend my lashes together with the actual lash. Gives it more of that natural look. Can't even say I love stuck in the field. And I'm gonna go with my bottom lash as well. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. Look at how it catches every lash. So good. So unfortunately, I don't have any MAC bronzer, but I'm gonna use this shade right here and this one mixed together to create that bronze effect. Just stay low, my mind's telling me all these things. It's the cheek for me, guys. So good. Now I'm gonna go in with the Mac Tiana Taylor highlighter. Look at how gorgeous. And we're just gonna go right over the cheek. Oh, oh, so good. Yes. All right, guys. <gasps> this is so good. It's my first time using it, so. All right. I'm obsessed. Mm. Melt that right in with my finger. Ooh. All I'm gonna do now is just add a MAC lip. Um, I was thinking about doing the Powdered Kiss Lip Color from MAC in shade Devoted to Chili. I love it. It's, it has a very beautiful velvet um, texture. I need it. Is the lip for me okay like period <laughs> guys again mac now i'm going in with a blood things better the more i struggle i go deeper realizing that it won't get better i might as well stay fed up where am i here and now what you're gonna do is just continue on this side you want that burnt look Fresh out the oven. <laughs> so now my final look is finished. I put on a wig, I changed my shirt, and now I have my mask. <laughs> I just want to thank Women of Color on Broadway and also Mag. Thank you, Mag, for supplying all the makeup products that I've used. Also, Women of Color, thank you for choosing me to be able to do the Phantom of the Opera look. I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much. Like, guys, like, I'm gagging. <laughs> Try and fight.